tester. Today I'm going to teach you the right way to wear a bike helmet. You should always wear a helmet when you ride your bike. This is my baby sister. She crashed the other day and could have gotten really hurt if she wasn't wearing her helmet. I'm a kid, so sometimes I forget to make sure my helmet is adjusted right. So my mom taught me five easy steps to help kids and parents find and adjust a helmet for a perfect fit. She also always checks my helmet before I get on my bike. Her motto is fit before you quit. Step one, measure your child's head before you buy the helmet. Step two, position the helmet just right. Step three, tighten for a snug fit. Step four, make a V with the side straps. Step five, adjust the chin strap. And bonus, check the fit regularly. Now let's go over these steps in detail so that both kids and parents know exactly how a helmet should fit. No matter how responsible you think your kid is, ah. parents are ultimately responsible for their child's safety. Measure your child's head. You can't get a helmet to fit well if you don't buy a helmet that's the right size. So using a soft tape measure, measure the circumference of the child's head about an inch above their eyebrows or the thickest part of their head. Compare this measurement to the head size range sticker found on the inside of the helmet. If you're buying online, the manufacturer should have their size range listed or just check our website. Position the helmet just right. Remove any thick ponytails or hair clips that may prevent the helmet from sitting flush on a child's head. Then place the helmet squarely on top of your child's head. The helmet should sit about two finger widths above the child's eyebrows. A helmet that is too low or tilted forward can obstruct a child's view while riding. A helmet that's too high or tilted back won't protect a child's face or forehead sufficiently. A properly positioned helmet should stick out past the tip of a child's nose when viewed from the side. You can test this by having your child tap their helmet against the wall. Tighten for a snug fit. Once the helmet is sitting correctly on the head and before you buckle the helmet, tighten the dial adjust knob on the back of the helmet. Turn the knob until the internal cage is snug but not uncomfortable on your child's head. If the helmet does not have a dial adjust knob, it should have some pads that come in various widths to widen or loosen the inside of the helmet. If the pads are missing or did not come with the helmet, you will likely need to purchase a new one. To check that the helmet is tightened correctly, have your child shake their head back and forth without it buckled. The helmet should stay firmly in place. Make a view with the side straps. Adjusting the sliders on the side straps is required to get a secure fit, but it's often overlooked. The sliders should be adjusted so that the straps come together to form a V at the base of the child's ear. This helps keep the helmet centered on the child's head. A poorly adjusted slider can cause the helmet to slip forward or back on a child's head while they're wearing it. While some sliders lock into place, most are easily able to slide up and down the side strap. As a result, it's important to check the position of those sliders regularly. There are a few newer helmets that don't have these sliders, so if your side straps are sewn together like this, just don't worry about this step. Adjust the chin strap. With the sliders in place, the length of the chin strap can now be adjusted. The chin strap should be loose enough under the chin to allow the child to buckle it, but tight enough that you can fit just one finger between the chin and strap. Another way to test this is if the strap becomes tight when the mouth is fully open. Check the fit regularly. If at all possible, you should check the fit of your child's helmet every time they ride. Adjusting your child's helmet regularly is just as important as making sure your child is wearing one. Helmets quickly and easily come out of adjustment. Thanks mom, can I go now? Yeah, <laughs> now I'm ready to roll. Whether your child is walking their balance bike riding in a trailer, or cruising around on their scooter or bike. Please make sure they are always wearing a helmet. If you like this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to get out and ride and 
fit before you click. <laughs>